Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 26, this is war number 10. We got two wars after this one left in the season. And looks like we're going up against an alliance called Republica Marvel. All right, so we're gonna take a look at their defense, see what we're facing, and then decide whether to bring in my standard team or swap someone out. All right, so I take path three, section one, no defender on that first node. And then we've got Taskmaster, who shouldn't be a problem for uh, any of the team I usually bring. Nick Fury can do it. He will go uh, immune to uh, the debuffs, but he wouldn't last that long. All right, and then we've got uh, Medusa here. Black Widow can take Medusa on that node. So uh, I might go ahead and do that. Uh, the middle, I don't usually clear. Then we've got Black Widow Deadly Origins. Uh, that can be annoying. Uh, preferably someone with a shock immune would take this one, but I can take that fight with uh, Nick Fury. I just have to remember not to evade so that I get that um, buff up and get wrecked with the uh, shock damage. All right, and then we've got on section two, which I also take path three, we've got Hulkbuster, uh, Black Widow, Clairvoyant can take that fight. And then we've got Mephisto. Claire can do it. I would have to go into her Curse of Hellfire so that I won't have to worry about his incinerate, and then she can do that fight just fine. Uh, let's see here, and all right, oh, I guess you can just, uh, sorry about that, uh, I'm updating uh, a program here in the background, so sorry about that. All right, so we've got Heimdall here, and he's not going to be a difficult one. I'll just have to go in here with Warlock if I'm the one taking that mini. All right, so now we've got Mini Boss Island. Uh, and I can see Human Torch being able to take the Sasquatch and uh, the Dragon Man. So we'll have someone uh, come in with Human Torch and do those fights. But they may ask me to take the ones on the left here. Uh, Nick Fury. I can do that fight with Claire. Terax, I could also do that fight with Claire. Mojo, I could do that fight with Nick Fury and just go ham on him. Uh, but also Human Torch can do that fight. So really depends on what shape I'm in by the time I get to Mini Boss Island here and uh, who else brings counters for these guys. All right. so. Let's go ahead and uh, dive in and we'll be right back. All right, so we're going in with the standard team. Nothing has changed. All the scouting I did, haven't changed my mind. Uh, these three, Nick Fury, Black Widow Clairvoyant, Warlock, uh, can handle anything on my path and some of the minis as well. All right, so no defender there. First fight gonna be against Taskmaster or as BG likes to say, Trash Master. Yeah, he's not really good, and it's a shame because he looks so cool. I love the way he looks, and he is kind of fun. Uh, back in the day, I actually ranked up my five-star, and people were like, why? I saw someone in Labyrinth of Legends using him uh, to great effect. I mean, he was putting in work. He's fun, you don't wanna play him distracted, you know, you got your prompts uh, to do the most damage that you can do. And uh, he's fun. But fighting against him, pretty straightforward. Both his specials are easy to evade. I remember the first time I managed to evade his special one. Oh, that was a good day. Because uh, that special one kept tripping me up. But first time I was able to evade it. Beautiful. All right. Just like that. Clairvoyant, you're beautiful. She took down Taskmaster with no problems whatsoever. Special two to the face. 
All right, so next up, we've got this mini, and it is Medusa. Now, this fight is a bit tricky, all right? It's very dangerous. Now, Black Widow is a great counter for Medusa. You see that strike counter fury? That means she's gonna be gaining furies like crazy. The longer the fight goes on, the more furies she's gonna have, and I can't nullify them, all right? And so we wanna take her down fast, all right? Now, her furies, the ones that she generates herself, those I can nullify. So you see here, uh, we have nullified all of hers. Now she has one. She fires the special one off, so she has more time to build up another one. She does that all the time. All right, now she's got living strands up. So we can't hit her twice, okay? And that's why you saw me just hitting her once, hit her with a heavy. She's trying to do everything she could to keep me off of her, but I know how to fight Medusa. We have fought Medusa since back in the day when she was chosen as the boss. All right, so Medusa goes down, and the reason that fight can be very, very tricky, with all those Furies, if I got hit, chances are I was going to die, okay? And that's happened before. I've gotten one shot, sometimes two shot, on that same mini, okay? Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it was Thing that I was fighting. I think so. Not sure. Uh, but anyway, next up, we're in Section 2. We take Path 3 in Section 2 also. Uh, we already had the middle cleared and someone else took that, uh, mini to open up section two on the left side. And you can see here, I'm boosting up. I always boost up unless I forget, but I try to put in a boost every time. Okay. Uh, this time I put in a 20% boost and I kind of kick myself because as you see down there, I'm capped out. What you don't see is because I bought that Cavalier offer when you complete Cavalier for, I think, 2,900 units, something like that, um, I had a bunch of them in my overflow. So I should have used the 30% or here. Um, I ended up selling uh, uh, quite a few of them. I'm just so mad because I waited again every time. I wait to the last minute and then I'm not able to use them all. Uh, I need to do that and then clear some uh, uh, hard content that's going to make me use you know, some revives and uh, boosts and health potions and all of that. Uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time I, I get the Cavalier, I'll do that. Anyway, uh, as you can see here, we're not having any problem with Hulkbuster. He's very easy to uh, fight. I prefer to bait out his special one because that can be evaded uh, completely. Uh, the special two can also, and I've seen people do it. I cannot. So I will bait the special one out unless I just want to take the blocked hits and then heal up later with Claire. I can do that too. But down goes Hulkbuster. And uh, I, was, I was surprised to see him there. You know, he does get an armor up, so I can understand it. But, you know, Colossus is just a better uh, option for that node, even though Claire is a great counter for him. Uh, so now we've got Mephisto. The only thing we have to worry about here is the explosive personality, but honestly, even if we hit into his block, Claire can nullify, so he'll never get all of those uh, armor ups or anything. Now, the trick here, I wanna get into her Curse of Hellfire, okay? And see, he procced it in the middle, and I hate that, because I wanna finish the combo, and he procs it, and so I'm gonna be taking damage if I finish the combo, I really hate that. Now I'm in Curse of Hellfire, so you can see I can fight him. I can get hit by a special one if I want to, which I don't, um, and just take him down. All right, so we're not worried anymore about his uh, aura. Love Claire, so much utility, okay? And this is her damage phase. So this is where she's doing the most damage. So she is beautiful against Mephisto. Down he goes. KO. All right, so we're having a good time so far. You know, we are uh, clearing our path. Uh, we rarely die on our path unless we come up against something that uh, we've not encountered before. All right, so now we're on Mini Boss Island. And usually I take the left side. Um, this first fight is on a rage node and Claire 
is great for it because she can nullify any furies that you may get. Uh, you know, if they generate a fury because you hit them a little too hard. Now, I normally do Claire. This time I decided to go in with Nick Fury. One of the reasons is even though he can't nullify, he doesn't do a lot of damage in one hit. So he's very unlikely, even though I boosted, unlikely to do enough damage to trigger uh, the Furies. Also, it's just unfair that I have to fight this guy twice. I gotta kill him twice. So it's perfectly fair for him to have to kill me twice. So I went in there so that I could um, get that extra cushion. And you see how I'm parrying there? I was uh, trying to reduce his tactical charges, but um, it's really annoying to do that. So uh, I did that there, but usually I don't bother. Okay, um, but we did manage to do that. And, uh, you know, he's now down, so he's unblockable. So we want to intercept him if we can. And he's not playing right. He wants to get that special one so he can fire it off unblockable. Okay, so here we go. He's still not playing ball. You know, there we go. And now he's got his unblockable. And I know he wants to fire the special one, so I fire my special three, hoping to push him to two bars of power so I don't have to deal with his unblockable special one. I've seen folks, uh, MSD, uh, Metal Sonic dude, has evaded that special one fully. So it is evadable, but I can't do it. But my plan worked. We pushed him to a special two, uh, and that's easy to evade. So... Uh, we didn't get hit by that uh, unblockable special one. Now I'm just waiting out the clock. Here is where his signature ability makes a difference. The higher his sig ability, the longer that lasts. You know, he degens down to 30% much, much slower the higher his sig ability. Um, so, you know, it's not completely useless, but I wouldn't dump a bunch of six stones into him just for that uh if you have him on defense it's useful but not that useful all right so down goes nick fury and uh i still have the life model decoy out so i'm in good shape next up we've got terax so i'm like all right this is black widow clairvoyant all day every day uh, the only thing you have to deal with on this node is the Hurt Locker. You also have, you know, the Enhanced Special 1, all that. But Terax can be annoying for most to fight. But Claire does an excellent job against him. All right, so first off, you know, I just want to kind of wait out that initial rock field. And now I'm going to go in. And as you can see, you know, we're doing some decent damage. He's bleed immune. Uh, so, uh, I went into Curse of, uh, Plague, and Curse of Plague is where she gets a little bit of power control. So, you notice when I fired my special off, he didn't get a lot of power. In this fight, I don't want him to get a lot of power, because then when he fires his special, it makes his rock field last longer, and that means I'm going to be backing away, possibly get trapped in the corner. I fired off the special one because of Hurt Locker. And we triggered a protection. And I'm like, you know what? Not worried about it. All right. See here, I'm just trying to wait out that rock field. He was being annoying and firing his specials off as soon as he could. All right. And at this point, I'm in Curse of uh, Hellfire. That's the uh, damage. So here we go. Doing all that good damage. Last hit. Triggered protection. So at this point, I should um, intercept him to get rid of the... Uh, uh, protection but I didn't because I can still do damage it just reduces it okay he didn't have enough protections where you know I would have to get rid of them in order to do any damage to him and there he goes making me deal with a special again and I'm doing those heavies just to keep him away a little bit more rock feel expired and now so is he all right so not a difficult fight uh, pretty straightforward uh, now this next fight is often tricky. Nobody really wants to deal with Mojo. Human Torch is a great counter for this. 
but, you know, I'm boosted up and I have a plan. You know, I don't have any power control, but my plan is I'm going to boost, uh, use an invulnerability boost. By the way, it was in the store recently. So even though I use this invulnerability boost, I ended up getting two more and I currently have one uh, in my overflow, which I may use it on this uh, next war uh, just to use it. Uh, but anyway, the plan on this fight is to basically just go ham. You know, don't worry about, you know, backing off or anything like that and let the bleeds do the work. We still have the life model decoy up. Uh, we don't want to generate a lot of uh, buffs. So we don't want to keep um, evading a lot. And we want to avoid that. Um, we want to avoid his degen. But right there, I messed up pretty, pretty bad. You know, I can evade his special uh, too. It was unblockable. All right. And see here. Uh, so that invulnerability, gone. See how I can evade his special too? But I got caught sleeping. Nobody's fault but my own. Uh, we're also on the new iPad, by the way. This is on the iPad Pro. Um, and I just wasn't paying attention. And then boom, he's stunned. We got him. But we don't have him. That ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't right. Did you see that? I sat here looking and I actually had to go back to find out what happened. I thought I just killed myself with my suicides. While that did contribute to my death, that's not what happened. Go back and look. I died to his degen. So I fired off the special two, which I knew was going to stun him. Then I was going to be able to go over there and take him out. Easy. He had only what 2% health left. So it was a done deal. But his degen, degen me all the rest of the way. If I hadn't fired the special off, I might have been able to get him, maybe. But he had more health, which is why I fired the special off in the first place. So it was the degen combined with, of course, the recoil that did me in at the end. And of course, I messed up. I shouldn't have been at that point in the first place. Now, the invulnerability boost does not help you against the degen stuff, okay? But uh, I wanted to just push him straight to a special three with the uh, invulnerability boost on. I wouldn't have to worry about it. But because of my mess up, I had to fight a little bit differently. Uh, and I had to deal with that special two, which I can evade, as you saw. But that very first one just caught me, caught me good. Anyway, uh, that's it for my contribution. One death. Uh, but at least it was to a mini, uh, probably a mini I shouldn't have messed with, should have left that one for someone with a human torch uh, to deal with. All right, so we'll be back in a minute and we'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we managed to pull out the victory in this war. Uh, I don't know where we're going to place at the end of the season uh, even if we win all of the rest of the wars, uh, it's not guaranteed we'll make a Platinum 3, which is what we really uh, would have liked. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we still have a couple of wars to go. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It really does help me out. Uh, leave a comment. That also helps me out. Uh, take care, and you all have a blessed day.